So sorry, it is raining, so sorry if you hear that noise in the background. I'm going to show you this DIY. Okay. You've probably seen this before, but I'm just going to show you, guys. So, what you're going to do is take a piece of card stock. And then take a binder and trace it with Sharpie like I already did. And then you're going to take your scissors. Oh, wait, before you take your scissors, there might be Sharpie on the edges. So what you want to do is take a paper towel. Some nail polish remover. And make sure the binder has a slip cover in the front. You'll understand what I mean. So just wipe on the end of your binder to get the Sharpie off. So it doesn't look like. And the good thing about this is you can switch it out at any time. So, literally, you can switch it out at this time. So, take and cut it out on the lines that you drew. Make sure there's excess, because we're going to be doing both sides of the binder. My mom only bought me one piece. My mom only bought me one piece. So, this is kind of going to be a little bit hard. It's okay if your lines aren't exactly holding it straight. I'm going to try to noticeably curve. Like, mine, I kind of did go until the top. So I just made sure I added the curves. I only added one curve, but I guess that's like that. So just make sure you find the front. I'm going to go to the opposite side. Put it in. This is the cover. So there you go. You want to show a little bit of the white. If you want, you can paint that or whatever. Okay. So, with my excess, I'm going to take this and make these size strips. So I want these skinny strips. So I can do this. So just take your skinny straps and you can just straighten them. Not the skinny, of course, though. on and draw a little edge so it doesn't look kind of it doesn't look weird so draw the little okay. so how I want this is I'm going to try to do it even line so I'm gonna get a ruler so I basically just cut it so there's an end because that's how much I have left and then I'm going to get a little bit to make sure this is even. So 
take your ruler. So, when you want to cut the strips, so first you want to cut off this side, so Really good heart. So I need to get a pen. Here's a pencil, and I'm just gonna draw a heart with that extra. So there's your And then, saying we're already at eight minutes, so I'm the back, and this the back, so that's the front. Then, you want to take your other foot, since there's these little things. Just take your ruler to push it down. Sorry guys, that feels great. Honestly, sorry for that. So I'm just using my ruler to push it down. Just make sure that's enough. Okay, there, that might be good. And then we're going to take this strip and push it down to make it back straight. So. Mm. 
Well, you've got that for me. It's in you on this topic. Until then, I'm here to talk about it. Maybe a little uneven. That will keep falling. So, what I suggest doing is putting my crotch on the back. After doing that, I don't, I'm not going to do a video. But up there, there's still more sand. Trim off the excess of those and just trim. So just make sure. You're trimming Just push it down, and that should cover the excess. That's why I feel that it's sticking out. The heart's completely out of place, so put Mod Podge on it, and it will be fine. So, thanks for watching. This is Jessica Bunny signing off.